آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ What do you say to the old foreign correspondent or foreign editor who says citizen journalists can never substitute for the carefully trained BBC or CNN or New York Times reporter with years of experience and an editorial bench to check their copy and fact checkers and so on? I was at a panel here in Oxford about a year ago with a very, very senior TV producer who was explaining how wonderful their coverage had been of um, Libya and the revolution in Libya. I, I reminded her that for the first two or three weeks of the, of, of the, the revolution in Libya, the only information coming out of the country itself was from citizen journalists because the foreign correspondents were all stuck at the Tunisian border. So there were fabulous pieces on Panorama on BBC News about refugees coming across the border, but nothing interesting about Libya itself. So there are moments when all you have are citizen journalists and you use them as best you possibly can and, and they can be spectacularly useful. But the, the news is and will always be made by a combination of professionals who know how to package and who know how to research um, and people on the ground. What the new technology has afforded us is an infinite number of witnesses. They must, they must be well marshaled. Do you think citizen journalism is an emerging and developing craft? Do you think it's developing its own craft rules? The things you do, the things you don't do, or is it still a massive free-for-all? Uh, that's, that's an interesting question, and the way you phrase it um, makes me want to answer that yes, it absolutely is a developing craft. It's developing on two sides. On the one hand, professional media organizations are much better learning how to engage with this enormous bank source of witnesses, and entirely new news sources. Um, and on the other, um, people who would never have been described, would never have described themselves, or certainly wouldn't be described by professional journalists working in mainstream media today, as journalists, are realizing that they can put out um, really important, really useful, impactful, stories, content. But essentially, you think that it's the combination of citizen journalism and more quote-unquote professional journalism that at least for the foreseeable future is, is going to give us a, a better picture of the world. I, I think that um, up until quite recently, a journalist had to do the whole process itself. So you start off with the research, you go through the data, you do the interviews, you package it up, write it down, ship it to your newspaper, and out it went. The whole thing was in a single block, um, apart from the distribution. Um, that's no longer necessary. So um, you can do your other, you can divide up the various different pieces of journalism um, and ship them out to the people who are best able to do, this, do, do, do that work. So one, one of the cases of, I suppose, citizen journalism, which has emerged over the course of the last two years and everybody's got very excited by is Brown Moses, um, Elliot Higgins, who's been doing exceptional work on both Syria and Russia um, and Ukraine. And um, he is not, certainly was never trained as a journalist. Um, and his network of sources are absolutely not journalists. And yet the work that he's done has been more sophisticated and um, more impactful than whole teams of uh, of journalists elsewhere. So, um, is he a journalist now? Yes, absolutely. He provides a fundamentally important view on two two conflicts um, alone in his bedroom in Leicester. But um, but he would certainly not have been called a journalist before.